Oh my God, I didn't know you were gonna be here. Hello, how are you? And welcome. It is your girl, United Lee Random, and today we're going to do another Rumi, the wisdom of Rumi, Rumi and I, or Rumi and me uh, video. So let me pause for the thumbnail. <laughs> It was at this moment that he knew. He f***ed up. Boom. So anyway, for those who don't know, Rumi and I is a series that I've been doing on my channel where I open to a random page in my book. I read a poem. Well, I read a question to you. Then I read the poem. And then I read the question to you again. And I ask you, give me your answer down below in the comments. People never do it, but it's always open because I like to hear from my friends. Okay, because you guys are my friends. Um... And then I also give you what I wrote. Now, I've been writing in this book, I want to say since 2020. Um, I think my earliest uh, content that I wrote in here was from 2020. And now it is 2023 going on August. So I've almost been writing in this book. I think I discovered I've almost been writing in this book for two years or three years. I talked about it last video, but I'm not really sure. But um, we only have two pages left, which we would only have one page left if I went home yesterday instead of going out with people. I, I'm working on myself, okay? It's a work in progress. Um, but either way, let's go ahead and get into today's content right after this intro. Okay, now today we're going to do my dear friend and it says, if you have ever experienced heartbreak, reflect on it here. What helped you move on? Okay, and again, this poem is called My Dear Friend. My dear friend, never lose hope when the beloved sends you away. If you're abandoned, if you're hopeless, tomorrow for sure you'll be called again. If the door is shut right in your face, keep waiting with patience. Don't leave right away. Seeing your patience, your love will soon summon you with grace, rise you like a champion. And if all the roads end up in dead ends, you'll be shown the secret paths no one will comprehend. The beloved I know will give with no qualms to a puny ant in the kingdom of Solomon. My heart has journeyed many times around the world, but has never found and will never find such a beloved again. Ah, I better keep silence. I know this endless love will surely arrive for you and you and you. And again, it says, if you've ever experienced heartbreak, reflect on it here. And you would be reflecting on it in the comments. Um, and what helped you move on? Now, I think like when I do these videos, I sometimes have a lot of people to watch them. I sometimes don't have a lot of people to watch them. Um, please really let me know down below what helped you move on from heartbreak. Because my whole channel is the healing, you know, the healing channel of Unitedly Random the unitedly randomness of unitedly random, but um, at the core, really healing myself and becoming a better person. So if you could tell me what helped you move on from that heartbreak, I could then also reflect on it and I could learn something. Because even though I'm not a, well, I am a teacher, you know, I do teach overseas right now, but even though I'm not like a teacher for my YouTube channel and really I'm just a space, just a space to say I'm here on YouTube. Um, I would very much so appreciate it if we could also share our healing journeys, okay? This is like woman to woman, this is woman to man, this is woman to alien, whatever you, whatever you classify yourself as, I think that that would be very helpful for the collective, right? So, I wrote this in 2020, um, specifically it was 4 15 2020 so give me january february march april yeah i'm one of those girlies april 15 2022 april 15 2022 okay and i put the most heartbreak i have ever lived through was my mother i knew one day she was going to break my heart 
I just didn't know when that heartbreak would have ended me. I didn't know, okay. I'm, you know, you know when you, uh, when you read in your own writing and you realize you're missing some periods. And also I spelled win wrong, okay? I spelled W-I-N when it should have been W-H-E-N. But, you know, enough exposing me. Let me start from the beginning. The most heartbreak I've ever lived through was my mother. I knew one day she was going to break my heart. I just didn't know when, W-H-E-N. <laughs> that heartbreak would have ended me if not for my husband, who on the day, when on the days, uh, when I couldn't slash wouldn't take care of myself. Those are the days he provided me with a safe space to grieve. I have to grieve the loss. I had to really understand that the image I had of mommy was unrealistic and I would never get that. I had to unbreak my own heart and say, I love me again. Wow. Unbreak my heart. Say, I love me again. For those who didn't get the reference when I read it the first time. Yeah. What is that? Tony Braxton? I'm praying my heart, oh baby. Let me know down below if you know the song. Um, but yeah, and like as of right now, I still think that that was the most heartbreaking experience that I went through in my life. You know, the different things that have happened to me, okay, fine and Danny, but like my mother, to have to walk away from my mother for the betterment of me, like, and to not really be able to go back. And not really, realistically, I don't want to go back, but I do miss family. You know what I mean? So it's a weird feeling that I feel. And it, it, it does, like, hurt. I had a dream, though, the other day that I was, like, like, realistically, I was beating my mom. Like, beating her up, like, in my dream. And I was just like, wow. Like, I woke up and I was like, Huh, you know, and, and it wasn't even like the me who I am right now. It was like a teenage version of me where I was just like crying. I was hitting, you know, like those Lifetime movies where it's just like, <sighs> I was crying and hitting her on the chest and she just stood there and she just let it happen. And she was just like, just like, you know, like God, like put all your burdens on me type of vibe. And um, yeah, I had that dream and I've had some weird dreams lately, but you know, I like dreams. I love having dreams. I feel like it's like my brain is working. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I had that dream recently and I just woke up and I was like, I don't know how I feel. You know, you just wake up and like, okay, well, that was a dream. I don't know the meaning of it. I don't know how I feel, but that's the reality, right? So anyway, that was another Wisdom of Rumi. I very much so appreciate you for being here, babes. And also, like, you did it. Make sure you drink some water. I'm gonna go drink some, you know what? I'm gonna drink some water in front of the, oh, my bottle of water is right here. Oh, sorry, babe, I didn't mean to kick you. I'll be right back. Okay, grab some water, okay? Pause the video and go get some water if you don't have any water next to you. I'm not talking about tea because that's a diuretic, okay? That makes you pee. We're putting liquid in us, okay? Grab some water and we're gonna drink together. Not too much, but not too least. Try to drink some more water, babe. I'm telling myself this and I'm telling you by extension. Try to drink some more water, okay? Aaliyah, when you're editing this video, editing, when you're editing this video, cause like I say editing like this because like I don't really do too much to my roommate and me videos. I just kinda, you know what I mean? I can't add more things in the future. I just have to get some type of schedule. But anyway, when you're editing this video, reach over Grab a bottle of water and go, 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 go. Drink some water, okay? So anyway, much love and positive vibes. And I hope to see you guys again next time. Like, subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure, even if you don't leave a comment down below, like the video. Let me know if you're enjoying Rumi and me. I enjoy doing it, but let me know if you enjoy actually seeing it. Um, 
I know some people would prefer more structured content and I will try to create more structured content. Like that's the whole reason why I got this book. Again, today uh, we have two pages left in the book and I will be doing one of the pages right after I get off of this uh, camera, okay? I'll do one of the pages, edit some videos and get ready to start my day for today. Uh, so you tell me, even if you don't want to answer the question, what are you going to do today? Like, I'm very curious, <laughs> very curious about the people who watch my uh, content um, and I love you all. Bye-bye.